up everyone so it's time for me to do a 360 collection video I've done all of PlayStation 1 2 3 and 4 so now I'm moving on to Microsoft right now I'll do 360 next I'll do Xbox original um, starting off with loose discs got Deadpool I'm not a really big fan of Deadpool but I play this late last year and I really liked it. It's kind of like a hack and slash but it was really fun and it was actually pretty funny. So Mass Effect. I played quite a bit of this game but I haven't completed it um, and I really need to get into the series. Pro Evolution Soccer 2013. This is surprisingly a really fun game. It's highly addictive. Um, I'm not really into sports that much, but the soccer games are usually pretty fun. I don't. I'm not really a big fan of FIFA, but I do like Winning Eleven and the Pro Evolution Soccer games, and Rocket League. I guess you could consider that. Madden 07 Hall of Fame Edition. Call of Duty World World at War, one of the only ones I haven't really played. Bioshock Infinite, this is the only Bioshock game that I've fully played through and I loved this game. It was really good. I need to play the DLC for it though. We've got Halo 3 ODST. Resident Evil Revelations. I haven't played that Resident Evil yet. Madden 15. Alright, on to... They're not all complete, but... Kingdom of Amulet Reckoning. This is actually by... Well, it's like from the mines. So it's from the ideas of R.A. Salvatore, which is... He's an author of a bunch of fantasy novels, and apparently he's really good um, author. I have a couple of his books, but I've never read them before. But this is supposed to be a really good game, so I'll have to check it out. Grand Theft Auto 4. This may be my favorite of the Grand Theft Auto games. I really like 5 as well, though. The story and the characters I really like, and I like all the side things you can do, like bowling, pool, and all that. Halo 3, Grand Theft Auto 5, um, really interesting characters, um, it's cool how you can switch back between three of the characters and they could be doing whatever on their own, so I always thought it was really cool. I never played any of the online because I'm not much of a multiplayer person, but still really good. Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock. This is my favorite Guitar Hero game. Um, I started off on easy because it was really hard to figure out <laughs> at first, but um, I ended up doing most of them on Expert. Um, I usually unlocked all the songs, and there were a couple that I would buy, um, but a really, really fun rhythm game. That one and I think the second one are probably the best ones. Homefront. Mass Effect 3. Prince of Persia. Murdered Soul Suspect. I need to get into this game. I've played maybe about five minutes of it to test it out. And uh, it seems pretty cool actually. NBA 2K12. NCAA Football 12, Need for Speed The Run, haven't played any of the Need for Speeds since Underground, NHL 12, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, this was the last one I've got at launch I believe, Civilization Revolution, um, I'm a really big fan of the Civilization games on PC. I played a lot of 4 back in the day, but 
Um, I was kind of disappointed with this. One civilization is one that I would like to play with the keyboard, not on the console. And two, it just it wasn't as and nearly as good. I mean, some people really liked it, and I'll still play it. I need to go back through and try it again. It was a long time ago, so maybe I'll like it now. I don't know. Overlord. Um, this one's actually a pretty fun game. Um, from what I've played, I played a demo way back in the day. I haven't played more of it since. Um, but it's pretty interesting. Not really sure how to explain it. But it's kind of an uncommon game, but it's still cheap. Prey. Resident Evil 5. Steelbook. Still have yet to play this one. I've played four and seven. Saints Row 2. This is actually from Volition, which is where my hometown is in Champaign, Illinois. So, um, never, really, never really got into them though. I always thought maybe they were overrated just because I lived there, but apparently a lot of people like it from all over. So, I played a little bit of the first one, I think, and I thought it was okay, but I'd still rather play Grand Theft Auto, and they go a little wacky, kind of like, I don't know, they're kind of out there. They also make the Red Faction games, too. Splinter Cell Blacklist. I got this for $6 at Meyer, brand new. I still haven't opened it yet. Um, I'm a big fan of the older Splinter Cell games. Um, the first two especially, but um, I haven't played any of the newer ones. Alan Wake. Um, it's supposed to be a really fun, interesting game. I played some of it, but eh, I wasn't really into it that much. I'll try it again, though. Alice Madness Returns. Um, it's definitely an interesting game, but... I don't know, it just seemed to drag on forever. The levels were really long. Um, some of the jumping controls were really clunky. Um, the last couple of levels were really good, but the first three, it just felt like a chore playing, to be honest. Aliens Colonial Marines. Heard that one's terrible. Battlefield Bad Company. This is actually a really good game. Um, from what I've played. Battlefield 3. Bioshock, the Ultimate Rapture Edition. This one has Bioshock 1 and 2. I've played quite a bit of Bioshock, the first one, but I've never played any of two. Bullet Storm Epic Edition. Never played it. Call of Duty Black Ops. This is probably, I would say, the second best story of the Call of Duty games that I've played, anyway. Um, the first one being Modern Warfare, the first one. Call of Duty Black Ops 2. This one was also really good, just not nearly as good as those two. Call of Duty Ghosts. Started to play it, and it was... Ridiculous. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I played a lot of this one. Um, the campaign's actually pretty good on this one. And um, even though I'm not much of a multiplayer person at all, I played a lot of multiplayer on this one. I think it probably has the best multiplayer. Max Payne 3. Elder Scrolls Skyrim. I still have yet to beat this. I've started over so many times and I put in like 40 hours each time and then I get distracted and go on to something else, come back to it, and I completely forget what I'm doing. So um, I plan on beating this game. I mean, I finished Fallout 4, so I need to go back and do this. But I got the remastered edition on PlayStation 4, so I'm going to open that up at some point. Right now I'm playing Persona 5 though, so. Fallout 3. This one um, is a really good game. Um, 
I still haven't beat this one though. Need to go back to it too. Halo Reach. Need to play the other Halo games. I really, really enjoyed the first one I finally played like a year or two ago. And uh, I really liked it, but I haven't played through any of the other campaigns. Halo Wars. This one has still book. It's got an art book and it's got a badge in it. There's a still book here. Got this off of a coworker a couple of years ago for pretty cheap. And it's got this kind of book here. Here's the badge. Some like cards. And it's also got the art book. So, that, I mean, that's really cool. And I got it for like $15, I think. I've never played any of Halo Wars, but I actually I actually do really like real-time strategy games. I just haven't played a lot of them on consoles. I prefer them on PC. Iron Man 2. Jurassic Park The Game. This one's by Telltale. It's one of their early games. They're the same ones who make the Walking Dead series and The Wolf Among Us. Um, I had no idea this game even existed until maybe about a year ago, so I picked it up because I was really excited. I really like Telltale games, and I really like Jurassic Park, but it's probably my least favorite of the Telltale games. Um, characters are just kind of annoying, and uh, the gameplay of it is kind of, eh, it's okay. Connect Adventures. NHL 08, NBA 2K10, Connect Sports, Guitar Hero World Tour. This one's not too bad, but I didn't like some of the, the gameplay. The songs didn't play as well as the third one did. Grand Theft Auto 4 and Episodes from Liberty City. I haven't played the DLCs. I just got this game like last week. So I, I've had 4 for a long time, but I never had the DLC ones. So this one's got all of them in it. Battlefield Bad Company 2. Star Wars The Force Unleashed. This one's actually a pretty fun game. Um, I would say it's kind of expensive for the length it is. Um, it's it's still like 15 to 20 bucks wherever you get it um, and the controls can be a little wacky sometimes but overall it, it was it was okay Tekken 6 Wolfenstein still need to play the Wolfenstein games haven't played any of them LA Noir. I probably, I think I pulled an all-nighter on this game. It was really, really good. And I wish Rockstar would make another um, game like this. I mean, obviously it'd have to be another crime. Um, this one was based off of the Black Dahlia in the 1940s. And it received a lot of positive reviews. Um, also, I think it won some film awards too, which kind of interesting for a video game. Uh, Left 4 Dead. I played some of Left 4 Dead um, with a friend way back when, but it was okay. Uh, Lego Batman, the video game. Still need to play this one. I really like the Lego games. They're pretty fun and they're easy to get achievements and trophies on. Just kind of time consuming. Lego Indiana Jones. This one's Lego Indiana Jones and Kung Fu Panda. Mass Effect 2. Dante's Inferno. This one's kind of uh, kind of like trying to be like God of War mixed with Dynasty Warriors, I feel like. Dead Space. Dead Space 2. 
I like the gameplay from what I played of it, but um, it seems really creepy. And I can watch horror movies, no, no big deal. Um, but video games, eh. Dead Rising. Um, not really a big fan of. I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this, but I'm not a big fan of Capcom games. I've realized recently. They're okay, I guess, but they're a little weird. Dragon's Dogma. This actually kind of reminds me of a mixture of Elder Scrolls meets Dark Souls. From what I played of it, anyway. Not as like far as like difficulty, but the way the controls are laid out and all your like weapons and your your interface. Um, Madden 13, Major League Baseball 2K12, Fallout New Vegas. This is probably, from what I've played, the least favorite of the Fallout games. Still really like it. It's just um, some of the landscape is kind of dull, which I know it's a desert. It's going to be that way, but also the story is not as engaging as 3 or 4 to me. Um, there's probably only been one side quest that I really enjoyed the story to in this so far. And that was about it. I haven't finished it yet. I'm still working on it. Far Cry 2. This one's actually really good. Far Cry 2 and 3 are my favorites from what I've played. VR2, Project Origin. I don't think I can play that even if I try. Fight Night Champion. Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. Still sealed. I still haven't opened those yet. Lego Star Wars Complete Saga. I still need to play through this one. I've only played through Jurassic Park um, or Jurassic World. And the Harry Potter games and Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Lollipop Chainsaw. This one's kind of like a kind of like a comic book style um, beat em up, I guess. Madden 09. Madden 10. Madden 11. Madden 12. Borderlands. Um, I haven't played any of the Borderlands games really. I've played maybe maybe like three or four hours of the first one and that's about it. Borderlands 2 and Gears of War, which I also never got into. And that's it for my 360. Next is going to be Xbox Original. I will have Loot Crate in the next couple of days also. I signed back up for that, so until next time, I will see you guys later.